a city gripped by partisan gridlock, President Barack Obama's plans for a private dinner with a small group of Senate Republicans on Wednesday night and a trip to Capitol Hill next week to speak with their entire caucus qualified as groundbreaking. Obama's personal touch, something he's been criticized for, for lacking, also included a series of recent calls to Republican lawmakers as the White House seeks allies for a grand budget deal that includes higher taxes and an overhaul to of federal health programs. At the same time, Republicans have not promised to shut down the government until the end of the month, and a few have shown a new willingness to find a long-term solution to perpetual budget wars, even if it means new taxes. After Obama's re-election and Republican losses in the Senate and House of Representatives in November, bipartisan groups of lawmakers have been working to craft broad agreements on two of the President's other top second-term priorities, immigration and gun control. Pent-up frustration over the lack of policy achievements in Congress in the last two years, along with poll numbers in the low teens for lawmakers in Congress and approval ratings dipping below 50 percent for the President, also might have helped generate some political movement. The dinner started $85. It's a fifth. This report comes to you from NewsDaily.com, but stay tuned because we have a fly on the wall.